Happy Thanksgiving, Marlboro. Don't worry, the sports update has plenty of leftovers ready for you. But before the boys could continue the Turkey Day rivalry, the Marlboro High School girls sought to restart their own tradition with a little powder puff game. The senior girls would shut out the juniors by a score of 14 to nothing earlier in the week. Fast forward to a cold, frosty Thanksgiving morning. People were talking all week, asking the question, did a strong 8-2 Hudson team have what it takes to end the Panthers' Turkey Day winning ways? Marlboro would find out early that yes, the Hawks came to play. On the Panthers' first drive, the alert Hawks defense causes a bad toss by Duplissis and the Hawks fall on the ball. But this game would be a defensive showdown as Marlboro stopped the Hawks on the ensuing drive then Austin Garvey would bounce off a tackler and find a whole lot of room. Looking like he could take it to the house, but a great tackle keeps him out of the end zone. Remember that play, because after that, Hudson's defense became a force to be reckoned with, stopping almost everything the Panthers threw at them. And in the second, the Hawks, led by quarterback Jake Wardwell and running back Carl Seary, mounted an 11-play, 69-yard drive that ended with a Seary touchdown. The extra point would be no good, and it was 6-0 Hudson in the second. And yet again, threatening were the Hawks, but Garvey, who was hungry for more than just turkey on this day, picked one off, and he was running for daylight until yet another saving tackle stops him from scoring, leaving the Panthers' offense to yet again come up empty. Each team would trade defensive stops for the rest of the game, and with under four minutes to play, quarterback Dennis Duplissy knows he needs a big play to keep things alive. But Hudson senior Brian Gracia spins inside on his coverage and sees the ball the whole way, making a great interception and capping a tremendous defensive effort by Hudson. Hudson wins six to nothing. They will play Groton Dunstable in the Division Three playoffs in the upcoming week. Marlboro will have to regroup and get ready for a Tuesday night playoff at 7.45 p.m. versus Wachusett at Wachusett Regional Field.